What's up, fight fans? Thank you once again for coming through. Much appreciate. Remember, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. All right, let's talk bare knuckle boxing. It's strange because growing up, I've always associated bare knuckle boxing with Guy Ritchie films or maybe two tough Irish families meeting at the back of a farm to settle a long running family feud where the winner walks away half dead but 20 grand in cash better off. Not the greatest trade, but nonetheless, that's the way I thought of it when I was growing up. That was then. This is now. See, now it's a bit different. And that's due to a company called BKB, or at least I think that's the name of the company. Not to get confused with BKB Boxing, which took place in America, which I thought was bloody awful. Although it's called Benacle Boxing, it isn't exactly that. The hands of all the fighters are wrapped and it's going from strength to strength. From fighting in front of a few hundred people, the last event was at the O2 Arena in London. I think they've actually got another one scheduled as well. I think they're onto their sixth tournament. I think BKB Six. Again, that's going to be at the Indigo O2 Arena in London. So it's not the big arena, but nonetheless, they're in the O2 Arena which is it's crazy, like crazy, crazy. I think Bruno was at the last one. So it's not just your average beer-bellied bully with English tattoos on his arm fighting either. They have former MMA stars, Melvin Gillard and Chris Lytle from the UFC, and former world champion Robin Reed in commentary as well. So this thing is legit. This ain't no joke. And they've been able to do this without any TV partner and no major sponsor as well. Now, look, I have to be honest, I, I don't know what to make of it yet. It's not licensed by the British Boxing Board of Control. They said they have no interest in it. But it's happening. And the owner, Jim Freeman, thinks give it two or three years and it'll be bigger or at least the same as MMA, which for me won't happen, no chance, but it will definitely be as big as some of the smaller shows. Now, immediately, as soon as you hear no gloves or bare knuckle, you think brain damage, increased dangers, you think death. Those are, th those, those are thoughts that come to my mind. Maybe it's an ignorant way of thinking, but it just is, right? And, um, but look, a quick history lesson about gloves. Look, gloves were introduced in 1892 and they were to help protect the fighter's hands as it was extremely common back in the day for fighters hands to be fractured or broken as the bones in the man's heads are a lot stronger than the bones in the man's hands so when you think about it as crazy as it sounds the gloves actually benefit the hitter as he can continually hit with full force without the risk of severely injuring his hands so the argument will rage on um gloves or no gloves look for me there, there is no argument gloves all day long but what do you guys make of this new bkb have you seen it it's on youtube so you can watch a bit most of the fights um most of the fights are on there you'll probably recognize some of the names a lot of former boxers and mma stars have joined up for me i have to be honest with you i just don't like it um look it must be regulated for it to be allowed to continue but for me it's just still super dangerous but again the argument would be look playing devil's advocate what's the difference between a wrapped glove smacking you on the face or, or now the legal MMA where you can elbow and kick bone to bone, as Conor McGregor likes to say. So look, look, let me know your thoughts. Um, check it out, BKB, and let me know your opinions on it. Does it have a future? Uh, will it survive? Or is it just a case of, because it's not necessarily hit the mainstream yet, they haven't shut it down. And if it does hit the mainstream or a serious injury does occur, that's it. I, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Peace.